Let's start with the concept of concentration response curves. We also call it dose response curve. We normally plot various concentrations or doses of an agonist on the x-axis and the resulting effects or the responses in terms of percentage on y-axis and it results in a dose response curve. Dose response curve. So the concentration or the doses are typically in a logarithmic scale. This means the units on the x-axis increase by a power of 10, allowing us to compare a very wide range of doses on a single graph. When plotting the response at various drug doses, the dose response curve normally takes the form of a sigmoid curve that is somewhat shaped like the letter S as you can see here. Now what is plateau? When the drug response no longer increases or decreases, a flat region is reached. This flat region is called the plateau of the curve. Now you may define the concentration response curve or dose response curve as the relationship between the given concentration or dose of an agonist and the observed effect or response after the agonist interacts with the receptor. Now let's see how different types of agonists show up in a typical concentration response curve. A full agonist displays full intrinsic efficacy. A partial agonist displays partial efficacy. Whereas an inverse agonist displays negative intrinsic efficacy.